हरे कृष्णा होल्ड योर प्लान्स लाइटली नॉट टाइटली सपोज वी हैव अ बटरफ्लाई एंड वी हैव कॉट द बटरफ्लाई एंड वी होल्ड इट नाउ वी डोंट वॉन्ट इट टू फ्लाई अवे बट द बटरफ्लाई इज रसलिंग फ्लैपिंग इट्स विंग्स इफ यू ट्राई टू होल्ड ऑन द बटरफ्लाई वेरी टाइटली putting in all our efforts to ensure that it doesn't escape it may not escape but its life will escape away its life will slip away and what we will have is a dead corpse of a butterfly and that has no beauty so by our attempt to hold on to the butterfly very tightly uh, we get the butterfly but what we wanted the butterfly for for its life for its beauty that is lost now something similar happens to us when we make plans and then become very attached to our plans now we want we want to make plans so that we can have a purposeful life so that we can act constructively purposefully productively and certainly plans can give us a sense of direction and motion and uh, achievement if they are executed properly but sometimes life just comes in the way sometimes our plan things change so unpredictably that our plans just can't work at that time now at that time we get so caught in trying to make our plans work and in resenting and complaining and blaming when the plans are not working that the plans which were meant to make our life purposeful and joyful the attachment to that plan makes us forget the big picture and we become disagreeable we become harsh we become judgmental and then we take the joy out of our life and we take the joy out of others lives so we see that this was what happened to arjun when his conception of how things should be was completely uh, confounded in the battlefield of kurukshetra and he says in the first chapter 30th verse nacha shakno mya vasthatum bhramati vacha me manaha nimittani cha pashyami viparitani keshava so he says i don't see why i should be here i don't know what i should do and my mind is reeling and i can't stay over here he felt as if his whole life had become pointless that everything was just useless because he felt that his plans were getting foiled he just couldn't see any way ahead our plans are meant to illumine our way ahead but sometimes attachment to plans amidst a change reality can blind us just can't see anything forward so at that, it was at that time that he turned towards krishna surrendered to krishna shishyaste ham shaadi mam tvam prapannam at 2.7 in the bhagavad gita and then by hearing the gita's message he understood that although his plan was thwarted there is a higher plan working and thus at the end of the gita he surrendered to krishna saying karishye vachanam tava i will do your will so similarly what arjun uh, what we can do that when when our plans start getting thwarted by life then rather than holding on to the plans tightly and squeezing out the very calmness and clarity and purposefulness that those plans were supposed to bring into our life we we hold them lightly okay krishna my plan is not working what is your plan please help me understand i am ready to do your will when we thus hold on to plans lightly our plans lightly we will find that good will emerge in our life even if our plan doesn't materialize because a higher plan will work thank you hare krishna